The cross was not an afterthought. Romans chapter 5 and verse 12. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men because all sinned. This verse talks about the fact that through Adam, death and sin entered the world. God created Adam and Eve for them to live in a perfect world and have abundant God kind of life, what we call as Zoe life. But because sin tainted the world, Satan began to have mastery over the world and over the lives of men. And this particular verse tells us that sin and death spread to all men. Now this uh, is a complex problem and requires uh, for a, a substitutory solution that God had to offer himself. And so we read about Jesus who was sent to the earth to redeem us through the cross. But uh, have we ever thought about the fact that uh, the cross, you know, was that, was that something that God came up with because Adam sinned and uh, th this world was affected by sin? Was it, was it uh, at, at the moment when Adam sinned that God thought of the cross? Well, scriptures tell us that God uh, uh, has, has all things designed and planned well. So they tell us that the cross was already in the heart of God. Uh, I'll read for us from Revelation chapter 13 and verse 8. It says, All who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So the Lamb of God, Revelation tells us, was slain. Uh, before the foundation of the world. Who is this Lamb of God? We know that John the Baptist looked at Jesus and referred to him as the Lamb of God uh, who, who gives his life for the entire world. So God chose Jesus to die for us even before he created this world. He thought of the cross even before Adam sinned. And so uh, as we just consider the heart of God, we're able to see the goodness of God, how God thought of us, how God thought of redeeming us from the clutches of the enemy, even before we understood what we were doing and, and knew the power of sin over us. I'll read for us a couple of uh, more scriptures. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. This again tells us, he indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. And so God chose Jesus to die on the cross for us uh, before, before the foundation of the world, but in the right time, Jesus was manifest for us. And you know, while Jesus walked the earth, there were many times that he spoke to his disciples and he reminded them of the fact that one day he would need to go to the cross, that one day he would have to shed his blood and one day he would have to make uh, this, this substitution for uh, the world and for mankind. And this is the heart of our loving God, the purpose of the incarnation, which was already uh, in the heart of God way before we even we ever could understand what the cross meant. And so uh, let our hearts be filled with joy. Let our hearts be filled with, with gratitude towards God, knowing that the cross uh, is, is God's best idea and that the cross was already in the heart of God to redeem us. Uh, shall we just uh, turn to the Lord and, and pray at this time? Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, O oh God, that uh, you're a God who loves us. Father, we praise you for the cross of Calvary, Lord. Uh, we thank you for taking uh, all our sin upon you, O oh, oh God. And Father, we thank you for, for uh, taking upon you, Lord Jesus, every sickness, Father God, Lord, that we face today. God, we praise you that the power of sin was broken on the cross and God, that you made uh, a way for us, God, where there was no way. And Father God, I pray pray that uh, this day you would enable each one of us, O oh God, to have a deeper revelation of the cross and God, the freedom that comes with it. We thank you once again, Lord. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.